Okay, in this one minute lesson, we're going to see how to put a delay between two events or two actions. So our app has a button labeled play and it has a sound. The sound component has our familiar meow sound on it. And here's what the blocks look like. When I click the button, I want to meow twice. But listen to what happens when I actually run the app. Can you hear that? Just one meow. The reason for that is because the two events are getting in each other's way. And what we need to do is we need to put a delay between the first meow and the second meow. To do that, we need to use the clock component, which is one of the sensor components. It's a non-visible component. And you see it has three properties. It always fires. That's one. We're going to leave that checked. It's enabled by default. We're going to disable it. And it has an interval of 1,000 milliseconds by default, which is one second. So we're going to just leave it at that. When we go over to the Blocks Editor now, remember my timer is disabled. I'm going to go into my clock drawer and pull out the one event handler that it has. And it's the timer event handler. Whenever the clock ticks, this block will fire. So I'm going to put one of my plays in that event handler. And what I'm going to do in the button click is I'm going to enable the clock, meaning I'm going to tell it to start ticking when the button is clicked. When I click the button, it's going to play the sound once. It's going to tell the clock to start ticking. And after a second, the clock will tick and play the second sound, after which I want to disable the timer again. I'm going to go back to my app and press the button. There we go. We have two sounds. So that's a quick example of how to use the clock as a timer.